Welcome back. It's Miss Lee, and we are going to explore inequalities part two. Okay, let's look at the situation. It says, you must be no more than 42 inches tall to ride this ride. What does that mean? Like, how tall could you be to be able to ride this ride? The clue word is no more than. No more than means you cannot be taller than that. You cannot be taller than 42. So if you were 41 inches, could you ride the ride? Yes. If you're exactly 42 inches, could you ride the ride? Sure. What about if you're 30 inches? You could do that because that's not more than 42, is it? But what if you're 45 inches? Could you ride the ride? No, because that's more than 42. So the clue word no more than, just like we talked in video one, the inequality, tells you that however tall you are, it has to be 42 or shorter. You must be at least 48 inches tall to ride this ride. Okay, what does that mean? What's the clue word there? At least, what does at least mean? It means you have to be 48 inches for sure. Can you be shorter than 48 inches? No, at least means this is the minimum height you can be. So if you're 50 inches tall, could you ride the ride? Yes. If you're 75 inches tall, could you ride the ride? Yes. But what if you were 45 inches tall? Could you ride the ride? No, you could not because that's too short. So these are our inequality symbols. You are familiar with them. You've learned about them in elementary school. Sometimes they're kind of confusing. This is the less than symbol. And I always make an L with my left hand, with my thumb, whoops, that wasn't a very good L, was it? With my thumb and my forefinger, I make an L, and then I squish it. And when I squish it a little bit, it looks like the less than symbol. So I do an L for less than. The greater than symbol is the opposite of the less than. Less than or equal to means it has an equal sign, half of an equal sign underneath the inequality. And greater than or equal to has half of an equal sign, which is just one line under the inequality symbol. So if you get confused, which is less than, which is greater than, think about the alligator. The alligator is going to eat the larger item. Okay, here the cupcake is bigger, so the alligator's mouth is open towards the larger cupcake. This is going to be less than, this is my squished L, so that's less than. This cupcake is less than the big cupcake. Here, if the alligator's mouth is open towards the left, the larger pizza is greater than the smaller pizza. This is your greater than symbol. Okay, so let's go ahead, go over these situations, and determine what symbols we're going to use. We need to know, are we talking about something that is less than? Not a very good color to see. A less than symbol? Are we talking about a less than or equal to symbol? A greater than? Or a greater than or equal to symbol? First example, express checkout, 15 items or less. What is your clue word there? 15 items or less. So if X is going to represent the number of items you have, they have to be what? Less than or equal to 15. It says 15 items or less, so it can equal 15. The children's menu is available for children under 10 years of age. So the age of the child, compare that to, to the 10. The age of the child has to be under 10. So that one's gonna be a less than. What do you think about this one? Special discount on orders of more than four dozen cookies. More than is your clue word. So the number of cookies you get has to be more than four dozen. So it has to be greater than. You must be 18 years or older to enter. Hmm. 
must be 18 or older. So the age has to be greater or older, so it has to be greater than or equal to 18. So your inequality symbol would look like this. Free car wash with a fill up of eight gallons or more. So eight gallons or more. So the amount of gas you get has to be eight gallons or more. So that's gonna be a greater than or equal to. And a senior citizen discount on Tuesdays must be at least 62. Can you equal 62? Yes. Can you be less than 62? No. It has to be greater than or equal to 62. Okay, so we're going to use that and we're going to write inequalities that represent the statements. Our first statement, your dog weighs at least 16 pounds. So we're going to use the variable x and it's going to represent the dog's weight. And our clue word is that it has to weigh at least 15 pounds. So here's our 15. If it weighs at least 15 pounds, can the weight be smaller than 15? No, the weight has to be larger than 15. Can it be equal to 15? Yes. So that would be our inequality. X is greater than or equal to 15. Remember, here's your alligator. Since X has to be larger than 15, the alligator is going to eat the X. Okay, our next situation. Your dog ate at most two cups of food. So our clue word is at most two cups of food. So here we have our two. Then we have the dog. How much the dog ate is gonna be our variable X. He ate at most. What is gonna be larger, the two cups or how much the dog ate? Well, since we're saying at most, that means it can't be more than the two. So the two is going to be larger. So the alligator is going to eat the two. Can it be equal to two? Yes, it can. So X is less than or equal to two. The movie is less than two hours long. The clue word, less than two. So here's our two. The movie is going to be our variable X and it's less than, less than means it's going to be smaller, less than. Can it be equal to two? Nope, it doesn't say that, does it? So X is less than two is the inequality. And our last example, you have $10 or less to spend. You have $10 or less. So 10 or less. Okay, so how much we spend is going to be our X. Can we spend exactly $10? Yes. Or less. It doesn't say or more or greater than. It says or less. So how much we spend has to be less than 10 or equal to 10. So X is less than or equal to 10. Okay, it's your turn. So go ahead and this is your first statement. Look for those clue words, write your inequality, and then come back and check your answer. Okay, on our first example, you have more than 15 pairs of shoes. More than is your clue word, and your inequality should be X is greater than 15. Now, I do have a question for you. Could you rewrite this and say that 15 is less than X? You could, because in both cases, the alligator is eating the X. So that shows that the X is the larger amount. So you could write it that way as well. Okay. Pause the video and look at problem number two. Come back when you have your inequality written. Okay, it says there are less than five minutes of class left. Did you write, whoops, did you write X is less than five? Okay, example number three. Ben wants to spend no more than $3. Pause the video. Write your inequality, come back and check your answer. Okay, Ben wants to spend no more than $3. That is your clue word. And your inequality is going to be X is less than or equal to three. And our last example, the temperature will be at least 10 degrees. Go ahead and write your inequality and then come back and check your answer.
Okay, the clue word is at least 10 degrees. Your inequality should be x is greater than or equal to 10. Good work, guys.